Good morning, my crafty friends. Welcome to my very happy, messy place. Yes, it is a mess, and yes, I don't care. So I thought it's early Sunday morning. I got all my cooking done because we're having an Italian fest for our Labor Day party. Because it's my dad. Dad, what do you want? I want blah, blah, blah. He just listed all these Italian dishes because we don't get a, we haven't gotten together as much as we normally do just for whatever. Oh, you know what? Whatever. But so we're going to make a big, I think we're putting all our Sunday dinners <laughs> into one afternoon. <laughs> so I am working on another um, book with the sloppiness in the tags. This is like a touch of red. I don't want to go Christmassy, more winter, winter themed-ish. And I was working on these, I was working on these tags. I did pick up this um, red ticking uh, reproduction at Joann's the other day. So I might coffee dye it, but I was just inking it. So I wasn't too... So I'm gonna put these there. Now this is um, Dreams Etc. kit from, I think, was it last year? Electric Christmas in her envelope. I like that. And then I was just putting some, I was just making some stuff, so I thought I'd turn the camera on. And it really just kind of did the ticking price tag. Oh, this is where I left off. Let's see if I stay right there. I'm good. Okay. Don't go below three inches. So how's everybody been handling things? We're, ugh, it's just, ugh. But I will want to tell you, I just want to um, tell you. Well, I told you last week, these are, one more thing. These are Victorian design, and they were the nice and naughty tickets I bought, I think like in 2017. Because so I just, um looked it up because I couldn't find them. So I found them where I downloaded them. Uh, last last week I told you it was a terrible week. Well, sometimes when you think things are bad and they can't get worse, well, they can. However, like it was last Thursday. Now, I've worked my job for 36 years nonstop. And they decided to just condense my job and let me go. So I no longer have a job. Which, obviously, I was quite upset. I cried all Thursday night, mad all Friday, and now I'm okay. Um, things happen. New generations come up, and they want to change everything, and it is what it is. And we'll be fine. And it's just, just, I, I, the reason I tell you this is because I see other people out there struggling and suffering, and I know, and I can't remember what group I was in. Two people have said they just lost their jobs. And it's devastating. I mean, I've never been let go of a job ever in my life. I mean, I'm going to be 60, or no, I'm 58. I'm pushing it. And, it is, you know, you got to go with it, guys. It's, there's nothing. Thank God I have a very strong husband. And, like, this morning I woke up and he hugged me. Now, he goes, now, now. And he pats my back and we laugh. And that's how we get through it. You've got to keep a sense of humor. Because what else are you going to do? You can go in deep. I mean, things usually have a way of working out. It was, it was just, you know, it's like a slap in the face. But don't dwell on it. Move on. And that's why I've been making so many journals. Because <laughs> that's where, that's where I was headed. <laughs> so, so we're not going to dwell I'm just going to move on. Not that Corona looks any better. But. Let's see. This is. I copy dyed this. I printed this. On. I really don't want to do Christmas. Cardstock. So. We'll do. What a beautiful morning it is. And then, you know, we're laughing. You know, my, my nieces, they sent me flowers. They are so cute. They're in their 
30s and they both have kind of high tech jobs but they see the the lack of caring for your job that's out there and they, they get it they they get it so they, <clears throat> they sent me flowers and then my poor son and daughter-in-law they uh for his birth the, for their anniversary she got um my daughter-in-law got him a charter boat fishing um, day followed by a wine tour so they left yesterday and then he texted me <laughs> he started with lol life out loud he goes this 2020 doesn't want to let go it was too windy so our trip got can or we couldn't go out on the boat and they had to cancel our wine tour because somebody got sick <laughs> And then I said, well, at least you don't have the kids and you can spend the day up north and just have a nice day. You've got to make the best of it. I mean, we'll probably have a bitch fest today, <laughs> but it's just, what are you going to do? <laughs> 2020 is testing us all to the max, I believe. So, oh, no more. Thanks. So I'm gonna have to. Sometimes on these, I like. I'll tell you, I get my hug snug from. I don't even know where I get this anymore. I bought so much of it at one time. I haven't ordered it in a couple of years. I don't think it's Amazon. It's Zipper Stop, maybe or Zipper, Zipper something. I like to cut it in half because then it gets raggedy. And I don't care if it's even because chances are it's not going to be. I just don't care. And that's what makes these sloppy books so fun at the moment. But I think I am. I'm looking around my room and I see a lot of material. So I think I'm going to do my version of carpet baggers. Which are going to be the, the fabric in a messy, squishy way. That's what I like. So, it's going to be my way. Why I hear tons of acorns dropping in my driveway. Late, no, two years ago, we had so many. We looked it up and we tried to make acorn coffee. So I forgot. My son was into it, and we're, we're trying to grind these acorns. And we, by fact, by the time we did, we had acorn coffee. It was so bitter. It was nasty. <laughs> so it wasn't worth that. It wasn't worth all that work, that's for sure. So these are, uh, are these all the same? Yep, these are all the same. These are really cute for just... Um, tags. So I'll probably put three in each book. I just gotta come up with a pocket. Let's see what kind of pocket we gotta make. Let's make. Ooh, now wow, maybe we'll make like a. Let's see how creative I can get first thing in the morning. Let me see if I can find some paper first thing in the morning. <clears throat> Do a pocket. I don't have a lot of my Christmas stuff out. That's why I had to print some stuff because I, I didn't feel like going through any kind of files. Let me zip this up. really into Christmas at the moment I would probably make it a Santa suit but I like I said I don't have my supplies out really so what we'll do is make it a, maybe a, like a wool Ooh, that was off a 
the wool sweater type thing. I'll just fold it back. Fold it back. And then I got some wool. We'll make like little, yeah, we'll make like little squares. And that's just going to be simple because I want these like homespun look. Two Michelle's, one L, very rusty pins. I think later on I will look. I know I did a bunch of little tiny like bells. I have to get my supplies out. Yeah, this package. We don't really look. Well, there's a woman. Could be great great grandma. Let's put great great grandma in here. Where'd she go? I'm going to put her right there. Look at that, really. I can't believe how this Gorilla Glue gives me such a headache. Faber tape does not bother me whatsoever. This is so strong, but it works. Especially on something like this. <coughs> well, at least I got all the windows looking. And then just to pull everything together, we will put a little of the red ticking. We'll make it free. Let's see. Maybe we'll just do it. Yeah. Sometimes I love making like miniature clothes out of the out of the things like this. It's kind of fun. Little birds singing. Then my father, the voice of reason, remember, we all have our health right now. <laughs> yep, you're right, Dan. I have my cancer checkup the tent this coming week. So cross your fingers. So that don't come all good. <laughs> I can't promise that. I'll keep it together. That one might hurl me into a different direction. But we'll stay positive. Say we got my doctor's appointment. It's in Syracuse, which is about 45 minutes away. And the only thing me and my husband are thinking of, oh, we gotta find that place that had the best bacon <laughs> last time. It was the best bacon ever. This little diner just stuck away somewhere. We remember the name. I'll have to Google it. But oh my God, their breakfast was incredible. <laughs> and we gotta go for the important things.
there. How cute is that? And then we'll put one, two, three, and I'll tag hold that. That's adorable. Actually, why not on that page? No, it's too much. Okay. Everybody having a lot of cookouts today? Keeping it quiet? Another pay. I don't really decorate these too much, so I'll probably do one more and then make the big. Let's see. I need to make a little. No, make more big tags to stick them here. That's how I do them. Alrighty, guys. So that's what I'm working on. So I hope you guys stay positive, stay focused, have fun, enjoy every day. And we will see you later. Bye.